The Spartan programs are one of the defining and most recognizable aspects of the Halo universe. While every Halo fan is familiar with the face, mask, helmet of the series, the Master Chief, a good number of these fans are unfamiliar with Spartans outside the core game franchise. The Master Chief was billed as the last Spartan throughout the Halo trilogy, and while it could be said that he was, at times, the last Spartan too, he was never the last Spartan. Even before the advent of the Spartan Fours, the Halo universe was alive with numerous Spartan super soldiers. Post-war, the Spartans have become a force to be reckoned with. Today we look at all surviving Spartans, and ones not yet confirmed dead, from every class as of 2558. Blue Team Comprised of Lieutenant Fred 104 and Petty Officers 2nd Class Kelly 087 and Linda 058, these are some of the most well-known Spartans in the Expanded Universe, and among the last surviving Spartan twos. Having survived the Human Covenant War and spending some time in a Forerunner Shield world, the infamous Blue Team is still active in the year 2558, though their missions are highly classified. Naomi Senska, Spartan 010 a recently introduced Spartan II, Naomi is another of the few Spartan II's to survive the war. Post-war, she was attached to Kilo 5, a top-secret squad put together to sow the seeds of civil war among the Songheili. Naomi is the only Spartan known to have been equipped with Mjolnir Mark 7. Saren Osman, Spartan 019 Born Saren Shellik, Saren was a Spartan II washout. Thought dead by her comrades, she was put in cryo in hopes that she might be resuscitated at a later date. She was taken in by Oni, the damage to her body from the augmentations fixed, and put into Oni's Officer Candidate Program. In 2553, she led Kilo 5 on a series of missions to destabilize Sanghelios. By 2558, she was the head of Oni. Spartan Team Black Comprised of four Spartans, Black Team was an unconventional warfare unit that reported directly to Oni. Late in the Human Covenant War, the team was outfitted with Mjolnir Black, a special Skunk Works variant meant to test a number of features that were intended for later variants. Not long after the Battle of Reach, Team Black was shipwrecked on Line Installation 1-4, part of the ancient forerunner Maginosphere. Through means unknown, they escaped and made it back to UNSC space. Currently, they are stationed at Oni Station Ivanov, near Installation 03. Gray Team Great Team was a three Spartan team that struck at insurrectionist and covenant forces deep behind enemy lines. Comprised of Adriana 111, Jai 006, and Mike 120, the most independent and individualistic of the Spartans, Great Team was designed to operate independently for long periods of time with minimal oversight. They were last heard from in 2551, and their status is currently unknown. Red Team Many Spartan teams have held the title of Red Team through the years, but we're talking about the one comprised of Jerome 092. Douglas 042 and Alice 130. Last seen aboard the Spirit of Fire, their fate is unknown. Given the state of the Spirit of Fire in 2558, their survival may be dubious at best. Maria 062, the only Spartan known to have retired from the program. According to her, she did so to start a family. She was last seen testing a suit of Mjolnir Mark VI before it was shipped up to John 117 aboard Cairo Station in October 2552. Her fate remains unknown. Cassandra, 075. Cassandra was discharged in 2525 due to problems with her augmentation process. She wrote a letter to John 117 from the M25L recovery station in October 2552. Her current status is unknown. Fajad 084. Another Spartan washout. Fajad was assigned to a desk job in 2525. In May 2540, he wrote a paper on slipspace physics. The paper was used by Jacob Keyes during the Battle of Sigma Octanus IV to predict the approach of Covenant forces. His current status is unknown. Commander Musa, Spartan 096. Commander Musa, once Spartan 096, was one of the creators of the Spartan IV program. He was crippled for life when his body rejected the Spartan augmentations, for which he held a grudge towards Dr. Halsey. Kirk 018 and Rene 081. Discharged in 2525 due to problems with their augmentations, their current status is unknown. Other Spartan Twos An unknown number of Spartan Twos were killed by their augmentations, their bodies put in cryo in hopes that they might one day be resuscitated. Their current status is unknown, though Dr. Halsey mentioned progress with some of the washouts in her journal. June A266 Formerly Noble Three of Noble Team, June is the only survivor of the Spartan Team. 
he was ordered to protect Dr. Catherine Halsey at all costs while escorting her to Castle Base on Reach, but was separated from the Doctor at some point. Later, he was a prime recruiter for the Spartan IV program. His current whereabouts are unknown. Lucy B. 091 One of two survivors of Operation Torpedo, a mission to take out a Covenant refinery. The trauma of the mission left her mute. She, along with a number of Spartans, Franklin Mendez and Dr. Halsey, were trapped in a Forerunner Shield world. After being rescued, she was offered a position in the Spartan IV program. Tom, B-292, the other survivor of Operation Torpedo. Tom came through better off than Lucy, but the two were inseparable after that. Both were on the world of Onyx when its hidden Forerunner systems were activated in September 2552. With Lucy and the others, he would be temporarily trapped in a shield world, and like Lucy, offered a position in the Spartan IV program upon rescue. Rosenda 344 One of the Spartans kept in a roster for rotation into Noble Team should the need arise. Before the Battle of Reach, Colonel Holland was considering switching her out in place of a meal should anti-insurrectionist operations occur. Her current status is unknown. Ash G099 One of the survivors of the Battle of Onyx. He and a number of Spartan 3s from Gamma Company were present on Onyx when the Forerunner systems were activated in September 2552. Like other Spartan 3s, he was offered integration into the Spartan 4 program when he was rescued from the Onyx Shield world. Mark G313 Known as the Mark for his marksmanship skills, Mark was another survivor from the Battle of Onyx. He was offered integration into the Spartan 4 program after being rescued from the Shield world. Olivia G291 Another survivor from the Battle of Onyx. She was given the nickname O, as her stealth skills were unparalleled, said to be as whisper quiet as her vowel namesake. When she was rescued from the Onyx Shield world in February 2553, she was, like other Spartan 3s, offered integration into the Spartan 4 program. Team Katana A five-man Spartan 3 team present during the Battle of Onyx. Team Katana, along with two others, were competing for top honors when the Forerunner installation beneath the planet went active. At some point, the team ventured into Zone 67 and were injured. Hurragok tending to the facility found Katana and placed them in slipspace field pods, an advanced form of suspended animation. The team was given immediate medical aid after being recovered from the Onyx Shield world. Their current status is unknown. Other members of Gamma Company The majority of Spartan 3 Gamma Company was off-planet when Onyx's Forerunner systems were activated. What they were up to in the final months of the war, and where they are now, is unknown. What we do know is that, like other Spartans, they were offered integration into the Spartan 4 program. Those that declined were resigned from the military and returned to civilian life. Infinity Spartan Command The command team on board the UNSC Infinity is comprised of a number of Spartans that oversee all off-ship operations. Known Spartans include Sarah Palmer, Jared Miller, Carmichael, and Robert Dalton. Currently, they continue to serve aboard Infinity. Spartan Fire Teams A number of Spartan Fire Teams participated in the Requiem campaigns, but not all made it back. The current active fire teams include Apex, Avalanche, Crimson, Colossus, Domino, Fenrir, Forest, Horse, Ivy, Kodiak, Lancer, Majestic, Rhino, Shadow, Sword, Switchback, Sydney, Talon, Tower, and Wolf. A significant number more exist, but the current status of these teams remains unknown. Fire Team Majestic. Following the Requiem campaign, Paul DeMarco, Majestic's leader, was reassigned to Fire Team Bailey, and Spartan Gabriel Thorne was promoted to team leader. Majestic continues to actively serve aboard the Infinity. Spartan Naya Ray, the only surviving Spartan of Fireteam Jackknife, her team was killed by the traitor Vladimir Scruggs. Ray has most recently aided Lasky in tracking down a traitor within the UNSC. Well, there we go. That's every Spartan slash Spartan team that is or could be alive by February 2558. Thanks for watching. This has been Halo Cannon, and we'll see you next time, Spartans. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.